Alright, sorry about the lack of commentary in the last video, but I keep getting phone calls! I am too popular, it's just... It's terrible. And I don't know what Lee was doing during the 80s, but he should have spent it breakdancing like normal people do. Because then he can make all these epic fail falls at least look good. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. What is this? Is that an energy bar? Mmm. Whey protein, boys. I'm gonna bulk up! Oh, by the way, this guy having a heart attack? Karma! <laughs> I'm so mean. Here you go, have some it's energy much, bar. But here you go. Doesn't that stunt growth? Of course. Clementine's like never gonna grow past this tall because all I'm gonna feed her is energy bars. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Don't you know who Glenn is? He's always okay. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Quit Bogart in the energy bar. Give her the other one. Oh my god. This little girl is so cute. Why is she in the zombie apocalypse? It's like zombies immediately go for the cute people. It's just how they live. <laughs> in my it's heart! Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. So let's uh, snowball that really with some freaking caffeine and shit. It. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I would have said my name's Funkmaster Flash. I was just doing what Flash. I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. Funkmaster Flash don't I care. I before with my dad. That didn't help. Your dad tried to kill like a five-year-old child, but... I shouldn't have pushed him. <laughs> okay. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins. The Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. That's funny, I've been dealing with shitheads since I got here, and he's sitting there clutching his chest. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Still not worse than Mondays. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, let's just give him a steak and send him on his way. He can go right outside the front door. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Oh, man. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. 
I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Whenever you tell him that she's not your daughter, everyone gives you the pedo stare. It's so funny, like, what? You just can't be a good guy and take care of someone's kid in, like, the middle of a tragedy? Like, really? Automatic pedophile? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, so hold it now. No ice cream, no life! It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They own this place? I didn't know that! Oh, his parents died! Wow. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Let's make light of this. Making rhymes with bacon and bacon is delicious. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. Oh, by the way, all the subs that were telling me to let the kid die? He's a kid. There's a there's innocence there. I mean, who knows? It's like brutal. You guys are brutal. <laughs> just let the kid die. To save Sean? I mean, uh, I don't know. There's a moral dilemma right time. there. How can I with those things no, out I'm there? I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I don't know if I could justify it like you guys could just because he turned the tractor on. Besides, I think it was more of Sean's fault anyway. He put the kid on the tractor and you know the kid's country. The kid's gonna want to ride the tractor. So, in essence, Sean put himself in that position. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That's how I justify it. No Easter egg hunt anymore! Hello, baby. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. 
you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Hey, all that dressing up like a Viking and carrying a foam sword actually panned out for that guy. Don't hate on him. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm. If this turns on when I hit the power, I'm going to die laughing. Like, literally, you could bury me after this. Okay. Nothing. If this thing doesn't have batteries... Hold on, antenna out. There we go. If this thing doesn't have batteries, I am going to pimp slap her so hard. Up, oh, someone's getting a pimp slap. batteries in this thing? What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You don't know what batteries look like? Oh my god, lady. You need help. You're lucky. He is like... He's just... I don't even... I don't even know what to say about this crap. <laughs> you gotta be stupid. You gotta be so stupid. <laughs> Did I even know there's batteries Central in it? Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. I just can't even comprehend that level of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't comprehend it. Hey, there's one battery. Alright, I got an extra energy bar. Who's the t Who wants to eat it? What is this? This must be the other battery. There we go. Got two batteries. Who should I give the last energy bar to? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Alright, is it working? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Dude, if she put the batteries in backwards, this chick dyes her hair because she's got to be blonde. There's no way. Let's see. She did. <laughs> Are you serious? Apparently, you don't even have to know how to tie your own shoes when you're a news reporter, by the way. And Lee said, let there be light. And there was. You fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors. And Look at Lee's face. He's like, I can't believe this bitch is so dumb. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Hey. 
Don't judge me because I'm trying to get laid during the apocalypse, okay? Just don't judge me. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Let's talk to Heard the hero. Or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Well, why not? Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Are you serious? I, I'm not gonna need this blowhorn? God damn it, Jim! Nah, I was gonna totally bring rocks and just have some fun. Is that zombie wearing a toupee? <laughs> oh! That makes me hungry. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Better keep it down out of here. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out 